Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm Psyguy1121 and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to upgrade your mod to 1.6.2. Um, before I start, my microphone has been acting a bit strange um, today, so if the audio is a bit off um, in that there's a buzz in the background, I'm sorry about that, just... yeah. Okay. Um, Anyway, to update our mod, I'm going to be starting off with the source code from my previous uh, custom block part 3 tutorial. Um, I'm probably going to remake that sometime after this video. Um, but you'll see that we have our tutorial mod folder with our common blocks block tutorial, tutorial and textures blocks, um, our block tutorial.png right here. And we're going to update it to um, 1.6.2. Now, I've already installed Forge for 1.6.2. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch my um, newest how to install Minecraft Forge for 1.6.2. The process is a little tiny bit different than 1.5.1. Um, not terribly different, but a little bit. Anyway, uh, to, actually, oh, sorry, to actually update our mod, we're going to first copy our tutorial mod folder, and we're going to go to the usual place, uh, MCP Tutorials, and then Source, Minecraft, and we're going to create a new folder. Now, in 1.5.1, this folder was called Mods. However, in 1.6.2, it's called Assets. So we're going to actually put our tutorial mod inside of the Assets folder. And we're going to mess with the name of this later. Um, actually through Eclipse, that way it'll update all of the code. But now we can open up Eclipse and update um, the code that we need. Now luckily uh, the update to 1.6.2 wasn't terribly hard on um, us modders because of the changes from 1.4 to 1.5 that sort of made everyone mad in Forge, um, you know, uh, those changes were very good in the long run. I know I personally didn't like them, um, and a lot of people didn't either. So, once we're in Eclipse, um, I'm going to go ahead and close all that up. We're going to go into our source, uh, source folder, and you'll see we have our assets.tutorialmod.common. And we're just going to right-click this, hit Refactor, Rename. And we're going to make t t um, Tutorial Mod, lowercase. No uh, capital letters or spaces are allowed anymore. And then we're going to check Rename Subpackages. Now, this should automatically uh, rename the rest of them. Now, refactoring, what it does is it looks through... Okay, that's fine. Um, all of the code, yeah, there was an issue. Um, it looks through all of our code, and we're going to just uncheck this, never mind. Um, and anywhere it finds the old name, it's going to replace it with the new name. Um, oh, sorry, first we have to make it lowercase here, which may end up... Um, causing some issues, but now if we wait for that to refresh, you'll see we're going to have to update, um, we would have to update all of this manually. I'm not sure why it wouldn't let me refactor, normally it does. Uh, see if it'll let it refactor for you, but yeah, so we're going to have to rename this all by hand which is a little bit annoying, um, but we can easily um, fix that up. And then we have to re-import tutorial.
there we go. Okay, so um, that fixes our issues with renaming it. Um, now we, are, we also have to go to our mod ID and make that all lowercase, again, to match um, our tutorial mod folder. And then there are only a couple of other changes. You'll notice that this at init is crossed out. Uh, we're going to have to change that to at event handler. And then you have to import it. And then um, the block tutorial dot get unlocalized name two. We're going to actually say get unlocalized name. And then get unlocalized name. Now the final thing we're going to do is rename our texture. Um, since, because we're not using unlocalized name two, we're actually going to have to, well, all right, we're going to have to name this tile dot block tutorial dot png. So, there are ways to get around that. Um, I'm just going to show you the renaming method because I think it's easier. But if we go ahead and run the game, then we can go into single player, creative world. Um, sorry if this tutorial has been, you know, not as high quality as my other ones. This is an interesting seed. Um, I'm a little bit out of practice and I'm kind of tired today, but I wanted to get this out. So, if we go to tutorial block, you'll see everything is as it should be. It's just um, just those uh, few changes are all we need. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.